Today we have quite the adventure in store. You'll just have to see. It's going to be <laughs> We'll see how this goes. Yeah! Yes! That was so rad. What a dream. So we're out here snow time. We've got Kyle Lenny on a wing. And it's going to be a blast. New day. <laughs> well, today we're doing something pretty exciting. Uh, taking the wings and trying to wing down this mountain right here and see what it feels like done it a lot in the ocean of course and ridden down some pretty big waves want to kind of simulating gliding down and yeah see what happens try to you know just try something different um, this is really exciting we're here with the right crew with Andrew and Don I mean it's pretty pretty unreal setup we got so um, different than the last few days but that's exciting we're on an adventure we're up here in skyline it's a pretty rad spot but um, the avalanche like recent avalanche observations have been huge i'm gonna have a beacon some of us will have beacons that are gonna be in more advanced terrain and we'll we'll just make sure that we're running kind of safeties on people yeah let's go have fun it's gonna be a blast How's it feeling for you? Fun, just figuring it out, you know, like, definitely it's windy enough to go across, but not up the hill yet. Right. But uh, I think there's like a little tree section I think I could just kind of cruise over. It gets steeper over there too, so that's sort of like the glide spot. Over here is just, just where you're heading. So that was an absolute blast. It was really cool being able to hang out with Kai. Um, trying the wing on the snow was pretty intuitive. I only really got to try it for about 15 minutes, but it was a blast. And it is like so cold out right now. Like just trying to stay warm. We've got the heater on in, got kicker, and I need to get some editing done. So I'm gonna hunker down, get some editing. We're gonna stay up here uh, at over 10,000 feet elevation tonight. So hopefully the truck starts up in the morning. And then we stay warm. Hopefully the furnace keeps running. That's the biggest thing. We've got John parked next to me and then Liam on the other side of him. So we're just trying to stay, um, use me as the wind shelter. So, all right, time to get some editing done. So last night was one of the colder, windier nights that we've had in the Romer. And it is still pretty gnarly outside. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, immediate, immediate blast to the face. Chicker's been loving it though, we got some cool photos. But... Alright, so it's like single digits out right now. We're in a big diesel F550, so getting this thing fired up after one of the coldest nights we've had is gonna be interesting. Fingers crossed it starts up, but uh, yeah, here we go. So with it being so cold, I'm gonna let the glow plugs cycle through twice in hopes that I can get it warm enough that it will fire up. Let's 
trying. Come on, baby. Come on. That didn't work. That's getting juice it is. So we've got the block heater hooked up to the batteries inside and jumped onto Liam's truck. Let's see. This is all she needed. Ah, we got her. We got her finally. Today we have quite the adventure in store. You'll just have to see. It's gonna be on skis today. Weird. Don't we get in there? Some fabric and some backcountry gear. Nice. So we're up here in Little Comet Canyon, and we're gonna go try and speed fly off of Superior, which is one of the most aesthetic and prominent peaks in the area. It's super, super beautiful. Really steep. Really. Uh, it's gonna be fun. I haven't speed flown off of it, so it's gonna be a first for me. The approach is kind of gnarly in places, but it's gonna be an absolute blast. So we're just making our way up. We've got quite a ways to go. We're going up this and then over. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be an epic. Whew. Already, already hot. Been hiking for like five minutes. There she blows. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. We'll see how this goes. That was so rad, what a dream. Sick. All right, so we are getting ready to head up to the Bighorns. It's a snowmobile access only cabin, so it requires uh, packing efficiently. So I have to go through all of my stuff, make sure my camera gear, um, snowboarding gear, because we're gonna be up there to hopefully kiteboard, speed fly, snowmobile, and snowboard, if uh, all the conditions align. So lots of gear to pack, lots of logistics. And Kicker is already so stoked. Yes. Anyways, right now I've got my camera bag. So a lot of what you don't see, um, a lot of that goes on behind the scenes for these productions is charging batteries, cleaning lenses, uh, storing footage, clearing SD cards. Like there is 500 moving parts that go into every shoot that uh, has to be right or 
it lacks in quality. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's just making sure my batteries are charged, my SD cards are ready, my camera gear is ready. It all packs into a reasonable payload, um, all these things. So just part of it. I also need a haircut really bad. So we made it up to the Bighorns. You have Josh, Josh's kids, Brant, Brant's kids, and we're up at the Bighorns. We've got Kicker, who's pretty psyched to be up here making friends. Liam's grip blowing up snow tubes. And we're about to head out to the lodge, which is about a seven mile snowmobile ride um, from the parking lot. But if you've got a crew, it's gonna be super fun. Looking for, oh, Kicker. Kicker is super stoked. Oh. <sighs> So we arrived at the Wyoming High Country Lodge. Basically it's a lodge with all these cool little cabins. We're staying in the Timberline cabin. I'll give you a quick tour. Just getting our gear dropped off. Get a little bunk bed deal here. A little bathrooms over there. We've got Mason, Josh. Upstairs, a couple of the beds and a futon. Ooh, fancy new decks. Oh, Kicker found me. Basically all this terrain is backcountry ski and snowmobile, and then there's an amazing kiteboarding and speed flying destination. But we need all the conditions to align. But the thing about here is that there's always something to do, no matter what the conditions, even if it's just hang out and enjoy being in the silent wilderness of Wyoming. So Josh had the bright idea of bringing these sled tubes out and uh, it's maybe the most dangerous thing I've ever seen. Any last words? Uh, please help. Uh, from you? Yo, yo.
So our time here at the Wyoming High Country Lodge is unfortunately coming to an end. It's been absolutely incredible. The food, the good vibes, the conditions, the experience. Um, I just, I can't wait to come back. This place is so special. And uh, yeah, we'll be back soon. Yoo-hoo! Go oh boy. So this is also our ride out of here. Take this thing out. Liam and I are out for clown day where everyone dresses up ridiculous. So I'm rocking my shorty wetsuit with flip flops and riding the snow skate, which is, I haven't been on a snow skate in several years, so it's a horrible idea. Super exposed. Liam's got ski blades. Look at those things. Some tights on and then <laughs> just rocking the chest hair. <laughs> Pretty fun day. Oh, got me get pitted, bro. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave a comment. We have so many more epic adventures on the way.